Blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, God. Glory to thee, O heavenly King, and comfort, spare of your treasure, and bless all things. Shout your blessings and give of life. Come and by no sin cleanse us from every impurity and serve our souls, O good one. Holy God, we might deal with mortal mercy on us. Holy God, we might deal with mortal mercy on us. Holy God, we might deal with mortal have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the of ages. Amen. O most holy and trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, upon our transgressions, so holy one, the sin, he on permanence, for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Heavenly Father, your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, Christ who is true God and true.
Son, and Holy Spirit, we therefore lift our voices in praise of your superb worthiness. is 
the church, for the church is his body, of which we are members, and he is the head. Let us join with St. Simeon and St. Anna, who beheld this perfection of love and unity, so that we may say with confidence, Alleluia. St. Simeon and St. Anna, since your main pursuit and your utmost desire was for the compassionate love of God, you beheld this love manifested in the only begotten Son of God, the King of kings, the God-man, the firstborn of the ever-Virgin Mary. We thank you for your witness and example, St. Simeon and St. Anna, and we bring forth heartfelt praises to you. shepherds before you, your devotion has endeared you to all the faithful. From the manger in Bethlehem to the temple in Jerusalem, the Christ of God lived among men and blessed his people even from infancy. Christ shone his divine radiance upon you, St. Simeon and St. Anna, as he shone upon the humble shepherds. And we pray that he shines upon all who offer praises to you today. Thank you. 
Saint Simeon, you were among the 70 scholars who translated the scriptures into the Greek language. This body of work is known as the Septuagint, and it is held by Orthodox Christians as the official version of the Old Testament. You used your intellect for the sake of the church, and in this process your heart was pure, and your only desire was to please God. Hence, with every holy word you translated, you said, Alleluia. from the prophet Isaiah, you read the words, Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Like many people in our own time, St. Simeon, you found it incomprehensible that a virgin could give birth, and so you concluded there was an error in the text. Yet the scriptures contain no errors, but it is only our understanding that is limited and sometimes mistaken. In recognition of our dependence upon God for everything we say, Alleluia.
Saint Simeon, you lived into old age, always remembering the assurance of the angel and anticipating the promised Messiah. You are a man of hope and righteousness, a scholar without conceit, and a patient elder awaiting the consolation of Israel. We know about you because of the writings of the evangelist Luke. In gratitude for your life story, inasmuch as it is connected to the story of redemption, we all say, Alleluia.
Saint Simeon, the time was right for you and for the whole universe to receive Jesus Christ on this earth. <coughs> you knew because the Holy Spirit revealed it to you that not only was Christ the consolation of Israel, but also the enlightenment of the Gentiles and of all mankind. Henceforth, the Jews would have to make a decision for or against Christ. And as the New Testament tells us, not all were willing to accept Christ as the promised Messiah. Nonetheless, to you and those who became his followers, we say, Alleluia. because of her motherhood, that is, her innocent son would one day be crucified, and she would stand at the cross and endure his wounds and her sorrow. Saint Simeon, pray for us that we do not crucify Christ again by our cold-heartedness and negligence, but thrive on every word of the scriptures and take nothing for granted. Let us continue through old age and until our last breath, to bring praises to you. Rejoice, for God is with us. Rejoice, for eternal life was seen and heard. Rejoice, for Christ is the same yesterday, today, and
departed the temple but remained in prayer. We may assume, St. Anna, that you went to the temple frequently, if not daily. It was there that you fulfilled your crucial calling, not through remarriage and childbearing, but through the rising of your prayers to heaven. This was your mission, and for this you were rewarded by God. For it was in the temple that you saw the manifestation of love and true God of true God. It was through prayer that you purified your heart and you developed a life of devotion which would enable you to serve the Israelites as well as all Christians throughout the ages saying, Alleluia. For these two qualities work together to produce holiness and to draw us close to God. It was for this reason, because of your inward purity, and not because of any outward status, that you were chosen to stand near the divine child and then to proclaim the arrival of the promised Messiah to the people. We likewise honor you today with these humble praises. Rejoice for the Israelite who prayed on sea. He sing thee. Rejoice for you were in prayer when Christ was presented. Rejoice, elderly widow, who witness to the priests and the people. Rejoice for you spoke to everyone about the Messiah. Rejoice for the prophets who delighted in the Rejoice, mainstay of everyone who awaits in the night. 
Saint Simeon and Saint Anna, you brought forth fruit in old age, and you were fundamental to the building of the kingdom of God among the people. You identify Jesus Christ as the promised Messiah of the Israelites and the Savior of all mankind. You were rooted in the scriptures, and you understood the prophets, and the Holy Spirit was upon you in divine events. You welcomed the infant Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem, and you are forever remembered by the Holy Church. We who worship God and receive Christ, who are baptized and have the Holy Spirit dwelling in us, do say in solidarity and humility, Alleluia. Simeon and St. Anna, you brought forth fruit in old age, and you were fundamental to the building of the kingdom of God among the people. You identified Jesus Christ as the promised Messiah of the Israelites and the Savior of all mankind. You were rooted in the scriptures, and you understood the prophets, and the Holy Spirit was upon you in divine events. You welcomed the infant Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem, and you are forever remembered by the Holy Church. We who worship God and receive Christ, we who are baptized and have the Holy Spirit dwelling in us, do say in solidarity and humility, Alleluia. Simeon and St. Anna, you brought forth fruit in old age, and you were fundamental to the building of the kingdom of God among the people. You identified Jesus Christ as the promised Messiah of the Israelites and the Savior of all mankind. You were rooted in the scriptures, and you understood the prophets, and the Holy Spirit was upon you in divine events. You welcomed the infant Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem, and you are forever remembered by the Holy Church. We who worship God and receive Christ, we who are baptized and have the Holy Spirit dwelling in us, do say in solidarity and humility, Alleluia. St. Simeon and St. Anna, you saw God in the flesh, the incarnate Savior, the Lord and King, who was born to the pure virgin. You witnessed the fulfillment of God's promise to Israel and mankind's hope of salvation. Then you did not scatter, but gathered us before the Holy Trinity, one God in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We therefore lift our voices in praise of your Superb worthiness. Rejoice, faithful Israelites, to be of the Son of God. Rejoice, devout, mature ones, who looked upon the Christ child. Rejoice, ring and never weary of your contemplation of God. Rejoice, we lift in admiration of his wondrous ways. Rejoice, excellent companions of the uncreated world, of God. 
again and again on bended knees, let us pray to the holy elder Simeon and the prophetess Anna. Saint Simeon, you received the Christ child in your arms. Saint Anna, you stood alongside the divine child. We especially pray, therefore, that not only will we always recognize and receive Christ, but that we will also be open to all children and attend to their needs. May married couples receive children into their lives and cherish them and raise them to believe in God. May single individuals and the childless receive all children and protect them and nurture them. May we all become children of God and pray for one another and encourage one another in the faith. Saint Simeon, Saint Anna, for this we pray and for this we thank you and for your lives of holiness we praise you always. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Again, we pray for his beatitude, Metropolitan Tikon, his eminence, Archbishop Daniel, for priests and all deacons and all of the clergy and for all our brethren in Christ. Again, we pray for the president of our country, for all civil authorities and for armed forces everywhere. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, the parishioners of this parish, especially all the ill afflicted, and especially for all those suffering from the effects of the pandemic, the war in Ukraine, and violence and affliction throughout the world. And we remember also the servant of God, the reader Simeon, together with all those who today hold, celebrate their patronal feast days, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Furthermore, we pray for the people here present, awaiting from thee great and bountiful mercies for all the brethren and for all Christians. Thou art a merciful God and loves mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, most holy Theotokos, save us. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our sure hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Father. May he who deigned to be carried in the arms of the righteous elder Simeon for us and for our salvation, Christ our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, of the holy, glorious, and allotable apostles, of our Father among the saints, Nicholas the Wonderworker, Archbishop Mir and Lycia, the patron of this holy temple, of the holy elder Simeon, the God receiver, and the holy Anna the prophetess, whom we commemorate today, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for as much as he is good and loves mankind. Amen. 
Grant, O Lord, a good and prosperous life, health, peace, salvation, and all things good hastening to thy servant, the reader Simeon, together with all those who today celebrate the, their paternal feast days, and preserve them, O Lord, for many years. Lord,